And now that school is back in session, things are a little calmer at our local libraries, but not for long. Joining us in studio with the latest at the library, we have our friend Farah Duredia. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you for having me. My girls and I were at the library so much this summer. The AC, all the programming. Now that they're back in school, it seems a little quieter, but falls around the corner, right? Yes, falls around the corner, and that's when all the fun starts. And I think I say that about everything <laughs> happening at the library. <laughs> But truly, the library is such a fun place to be. There's yeah. always something going on. Um, like even next week, they're doing dog adoptions at the library. Cute. Oh, I love that. And I, you can pull up the calendar for each branch. So mm -hmm. find the one closest to you. Mine is here downtown at Beale. And every single day, there's something so neat happening. happening. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite things that you see coming through regularly? Oh my gosh. Um, story times are obviously my favorite. And I just love how we have the different types of story times, anywhere from like a baby bounce to family story time. And then there's, you know, targeted ones for like preschool and toddler. And it's just so fun seeing everybody come in and all the different stories stories, all the new books coming out, all the classics. I just love them all. I do too. And there's Toastmasters and there's Lego Maniacs. Mm -hmm. So all these regulars, but then I've already started seeing Halloween stuff in the stores. So yes. I was wondering if the library is starting to work on Halloween events. We do have lots of Halloween events coming up, but not, unlike the stores, we're going to wait until, okay. <laughs> um, you know, closer to Halloween to have those out. But, you know, we're always doing a bunch of fun story times that, you know, are, are Halloween themed and, and all of our branches have Halloween events. So there, those are always fun to go to. I love that. And lunch at the library has winded down now that it's not summer, but what about su supper and supper and snacks in the yes. snacks? That should be <laughs> another tongue twister another for us. <laughs> right. So that should be starting soon too. And I'm okay. excited for that to start. And I'll, I'll keep you guys updated when that's ready to go. But um, yeah, lots of fun stuff happening at your local library. And then we have all of our e-library services. Yes. So the fun never stops at the library. And I love that so much. I was just telling Aaliyah, our morning reporter, she was like, oh, I have such a long drive. And I was like, you have to download Libby. Mm -hmm. And then you can get stuff from your local library. How easy is it for you, you think? It's super, super easy. All you need to do is put in your library card number and you can get access to all of our e-library content, especially through Libby. And the best part is they have a notify me section. So if there are books that you are waiting to read and you see that they're not out yet, but they have like a spot in Libby, just hit the notify. And when our library gets a copy, it will notify you and you can put it on hold. It's fantastic. And I'm also on wait lists for mm -hmm. very popular books. I think I'm not going to spend the money at the store. The library will tell me through that app, hey, it's your turn in line. It's so mm -hmm. fantastic. Right. Thank you. Yeah. I love this. We love the library. We'll talk to you soon about all the Halloween things as we get closer. Yes, it's definitely. still only August. <laughs>